All right, what's up everybody? Jesse here, JRMTB. It's gonna be my last video of 2023. And yes, it is New Year's Eve. I'm out here. Uh, I'm a little disappointed actually. I uh, So I put my, uh, I put a shorter crank on the bike and um, yeah, I guess I didn't put the chain on good and literally the first pedal I take this morning out here, my chain breaks. So I am chainless right now, but that's okay. Cause I'm still uh, just gonna session some things without a chain. Um, we'll see actually, I'm for sure gonna do this one trail. That's pretty fast and uh, a little bit longer and it's fun. So. We'll go do that and it's pretty close to where I am. Um, but yeah, I guess while I'm pushing my way down to the trail, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about uh, just a short recap of 2023 and hopefully what I should expect go going into 2024. Um, so first off, I always like to set goals for myself. Um, you know, professional goals, personal goals, mountain biking goals. And uh, super stoked um, that I achieved a lot this year. Um, you know, professionally, you guys don't see any of that stuff, but uh, you know, I took a huge promotion that I worked really, really hard for this year. Now uh, being an, an associate manager um, for the company I work for. Um, you know, mountain biking wise, I think, I'd like to think I progressed quite a bit this year. Um, you know, I went to Bromont, which was something I called out last year when I was doing the same thing. You know, I really wanted to go to Bromont in Quebec and check out the mountain biking there. And, uh, I did do that this year, which I'm super soaked on. Yeah. And then, uh, just personally, you know, I'm continuing to work on, you know, just things that I can do to make my life better. Uh, you know, me and my buddy Ricky, we officially launched Lift Life this year. It was an idea in the making for probably two seasons, but we've kind of just bit the bullet and went into it. And even though it's been a super slow start, we have some really, really solid supporters out there, which 100% um, appreciate. And for those watching this video who have already purchased stuff, I really, really do appreciate you guys as well. Uh, we made a lot of changes to, you know, the way we're creating the stuff that we're selling. But regardless, I really do appreciate you guys and some of the people that have been the first to buy something. So yeah, um, that's kind of like a 2023 recap. I did a lot. Traveled to New York for work. Uh, went to Nova Scotia again with my wife for a vacation. Um, hold on, I gotta get up this curb. I went to... Quebec for a mountain biking trip, which was strictly, you know, just for riding where I spent the day at Bromont and then we uh, spent another day in Drummondville, Quebec, which is kind of like a small little city, but it's very nice. Yeah. And uh, I'm just, I'm just overall, you know, stoked. I'm, I'm humbled. I, uh, I absolutely love mountain biking. That's why I'm out here alone today. Um, you know, I just love spending as much time as I possibly can on my bike, working on my bike. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, it's my biggest passion and I'm happy that I could share that with all of you guys here on YouTube and, you know, on Instagram and wherever I post these videos. But yeah, so 2024, what should we expect? Um, hopefully more traveling. Um, I do want to go to BC. I'm, I'm desperate to get out there. And uh, I'm hoping that I can make a trip work this year. But if not, I have plenty of years to get out to BC and do some riding. Um, definitely Quebec again. Hopefully we'll venture out into the States a little bit more. Um, and yeah, I think this year I just really want to focus hard on uh, Lift Life MTB. And I really want to see that company grow. I want to find a way where I can support you know, more riders and provide a better sponsorship to them, but also be able to financially just, you know, handle that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I just want to continue to share that stoke. Um, maybe find a 
local trail system or trail building uh, community to kind of make donations to and stuff like that. So I have lots of ideas going into 2024, but that's going to be my, my biggest priority. Um, aside from writing and just creating content for you guys, I, uh, I want to become better at creating these videos and, you know, sharing the trails and maybe giving more walkthroughs and stuff like that. It's not like I'm a professional, but you know, if you're watching these videos, you probably like them and you know, maybe there's something you can learn from uh, the way I ride or, you know, the mistakes I make when I'm riding. But yeah, anyways, guys, I think I'm done talking for now. Again, a huge, huge thank you for, you know, all of you guys that are watching this video right now and all of you guys have, who have supported me and uh, who have subscribed to the channel since day one, which is a quick reminder, if you're not subscribed, please do. But uh, um, I'm gonna hit this trail. It's gonna be weird without a chain, um, but we're just gonna go straight into it. I'm gonna do the stair jump, go straight down into the trail, maybe hike back up and do this other trail. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to keep this video short, give you all a huge thank you, a happy new year, um, and hopefully I see you guys all on the trails as we uh, head into 2024, all right? Okay, let's do this, no chain. <laughs> I can guarantee you guys I'm gonna try and pedal. This bike is fast. It's very fast. I love it. And it's the highlight. Oh my god, my back brakes aren't working yet. <laughs> all right well it's weird without a chain but man that trail is so unbelievably fast even with glasses on i uh i'm fogging up my eyes are like squinting and watering ah man that's super fun it's just a it's a pretty good little flow section i might do it again because uh there's a couple sections that I really wanted to gap, but it's kind of hard when you've got that momentum and you're kind of just trying to jump around. Oh, that was good. This bike was probably the best decision I've made in a very long time. I can't even describe whew, just how fun it is. Um, it just feels so good. Oh, man, I'm so stoked on it. I can't wait for uh, 2024 to ride it. So check out this gap. I'm gonna show you guys. So I was trying to gap from that little rock over this pipe, which is go through bike lengths, no big deal, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping my back brake works a little bit better this time around. My, uh, I had a Megura MT5, I think it was MT5, four piston that had completely like malfunction on me. So I have this old Shimano brake on here. And I just bled them yesterday, so they're not really worked in or anything. But that's okay. I wish I could have made this video more exciting. But sadly, things happen. But let's go forward again. Get my feet in a good spot. We're coasting, baby. We are coasting. Nice, I love that. Yeah, that was a different way to do it. Woo. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, ha. Woo, I'm sliding out. Whoa. Oh, that's hectic. I can't see. Whoa. 
Oh, that was hectic. Oh, your eyes are just blurred by the time you get down. Woo! Oh, oh, do you guys ever just do a trail and your heart's just racing? Because it's so fun. Super sketch. That's this one. Because uh, you probably can't tell in video, but uh, it's not super steep, but it's all downhill and it is fast. And I almost died a couple times there, especially with this one rock as you gap over this pipe. Man, I think I got close to that. I got to rewatch the video. And if you're already watching, then you know. <sighs> yeah, that was a sketchy one for sure. All right, let's go down it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't pedal. Yeah. Good. That was awesome.